So today's video is sponsored by Taskade. We'll share more about them later in today's video. As we all know, today's the day that Woven is sadly closing down. But the mystery has been solved. They were purchased by Slack back in mid-April 2021 and naturally probably will be included inside of that application. Now Woven was very special for a variety of reasons and I've based some of the alternatives in today's video off five main categories that Woven did very well at. So the first of those is availability, what devices it was available on, calendar experience in terms of being able to use and connect up your calendars, scheduler, being able to organize appointments with other people in a hassle-free manner, templates and analytics. I've picked out a few of them, although I would say the thing is the calendar application space definitely needs some additional applications, um, but we'll talk about that later in today's video. So to start, Fantastic Hour 3 is a great option. It's available on iOS and Mac, so very Apple-centric. It has a great calendar. It has some good templates, some that help you to reduce the replication of new events every single time. For example, if you had a podcast recording, it would often help you to save time doing that. It sadly has no scheduler and no analytics, but is priced at shy of just $40 per year. Next up is Savvy Cow. Now this is available on web, so pretty much all uh, availability. It has no calendar where you can actually organize your own events. However, I guess you could combine this with the use of say your Apple calendar or basic Google calendar. However, it has some great templates that allow you to schedule and organize a meeting. Now this was particularly good in the review that I did and I liked the way that the design worked. However, it does come with a pretty hefty $12 per month pricing with no free plan. Now, if you are in the market for a scheduler that isn't a calendar application like Savvy Cow, another alternative is Calendly. Again, this is available on web, has no calendar, allows you templates, um, a range of them, one actually for free to get you started, but also uh, a lot of options if you're looking to book anything from a 15 to two hour meeting. It has a great scheduler and sadly no analytics, but is priced at a cheaper $8 per month if you're looking at the pro plan. Moving on, we did a review on Morgan Calendar, which is a desktop based calendar available on Linux, Mac and Windows. And it's a really good calendar, I wouldn't say great if you compare it to say Fantastic Hour 3. There is no templates available and no scheduler as well as no analytics, but it does come in a good package if you're looking for a calendar application and it also has tasks as well. Now Morgan is priced at $6 per month, which is very steep if you compare it to say Fantastic Hour 3. But if you're a Linux user and looking for a good quality looking application, this one is slowly growing and progressing at a good rate. Google Calendar is obviously a great option for many people. Although obviously it is a default experience, it is available on web and mobile and has a good visual calendar experience Sadly, no templates, some if you're looking to say, for example, booking a meeting with somebody. And it does have analytics if you include it with add-ons like Clockwise and other Google Calendar add-ons which help to connect your account and do the job in the background. It's also free, which makes it a good tidy bet. Sunrise actually was purchased by Microsoft and Office Personal Plan, which is just shy of $70 per year. Um, it comes on all devices and it has a great calendar. It's incomparable to Fantastic 3 with its design and it also works alongside your email, which is a great option. It doesn't have any templates or analytics, but it is a great all round calendar application that I think will do and suit you well. There are other alternatives like Mixmax Calendar, which connects to your Gmail, which helps you to plan meetings. Um, but I wanted to do sort of more standalone applications. There's not really one that I would say, in my opinion, meets Woven's needs exactly, the one that I couldn't find at least. However, I do see excitement in the future for Daybridge and Magical, both um, two applications that are gaining a lot of traction and a lot of investment early on for their calendar efforts. I do think there's like this magical space in the calendar space for a new application to rise up. And uh, I'm personally still in the hunt for a Woven alternative although in the meantime I'll be using Google Calendar. So guys before we go here's a little bit more about Taskade. I appreciate you coming on today's video. 
I appreciate you stopping by on today's video. Please make sure to subscribe and enjoy all of our other videos. But here's a little bit more about our sponsor, Taskade. This month here on Keep Productive, we're sponsored by Taskade. Taskade is an all-in-one collaboration tool for working faster, smarter, and together. I followed their journey since the early days and I've been impressed with their product that they've built. Taskade isn't just for your task, it helps you manage projects with a range of views. They collaborate together in real time, even through video. You can use templates and workspaces to create your own notes, documents, mind maps, and much more. So you can change a collaborative task list into a mind map by click of a button. Taskade is used by small to medium-sized teams for working together, but it's also a favorite amongst personal users thanks to the flexibility of the tool, allowing you to create everything from a bujo to a powerful to-do list. Each project as well supports chat and video conferencing too. You can get Taskade below for free, available on all of your devices, and for teams, pricing plans start at $5 per user per month. Thanks again to Taskade for coming on as a sponsor.